good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Jenna. I'm Bob. And we have a great uh, morning show planned for you guys this morning where we're going to be discussing all of the new apparel trends that we saw filter in that are going to be very big for 2018 uh, uh, spring well. season. So we're going to be discussing anywhere from corporate apparel to everyday apparel and then our most favorite everything from clubs and team sports and spirit wear uh, that will be huge for the upcoming season. Before we kick that off, we want to go ahead and show our look of the week that we chose from our show and tell that we have every Saturday on our Facebook page, Stalls All Things Heat Printing. So Katie, uh, you are the winner for this uh, week's look of the week. And we just love this look because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It is. And uh, she is showing how awesome it is to incorporate patterns for holidays. So uh, these patterns, she's using is from our CAD cut pattern selection that we offer um, through the stall's website and there are a variety of different patterns that you can choose from. She also paired this with a uh, solid heat transfer vinyl which is one of the best practices that we discuss with our customers whenever they're working with uh, pattern materials to pair it with a solid so that it really brings out that pattern. So she did a very great job and thank you so much Katie for uh, submitting that. So if you would like to submit you are the look, your look of the week, you can submit it through uh, our email, which is tv at stalls.com, through Facebook on the Stalls All Things Heat Printing page every Saturday, or the Instagram Stalls Heat Printing. Uh, so you can just submit them there, and that's where we choose uh, the look of the week. All right. Speaking of patterns, you want to show some of the new patterns yes, we have available? Yes, absolutely. So up here I have brought up a PDF of all of the Valentine's Day patterns that were recently or were recently added to our website. Uh, so you can see a few here, and then as I scroll down, there are even more added. So these are from Sparkleberry Ink. Uh, we added them on, into our pattern line. So these are the ones that she brought uh, to the website, and then these on the top are from our CAD cut uh, creative patterns. We okay. can also, any of those patterns can be made into a glitter pattern as well, correct? Right, yeah, so thank you for bringing that up actually because that is a new feature that we offer now. So any of the heat transfer uh, vinyl patterns that you have um, or you see on the website can now be offered in glitter and that's just simply by whenever you're checking out after you've selected your pattern, just choosing glitter instead of the regular matte finish that right. we offer with that. Okay, so before we dive into our discussion today, we also wanted to make mention of some of the um, local facilities that are doing uh, showroom curriculum for our customers. Yep, across the country, we have four different locations in uh, Texas, Corona, Arizona, and Florida. Uh, we're kicking it off on February 1st with a complete guide to start heat printing team uniforms. Should be a great time there. Um, we're going to be doing this once a month on Wednesdays. There's a, there's a whole lot of different topics we'll be covering. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're kicking it off uh, coming up this month on the, on the 21st. Um, why don't you give them an idea how they can actually find this on our website uh, to, to register? Right. So if you haven't already discussed it with someone on the phone um, to let them know that it's coming to a location near you, you can actually do this on the website. So if you want to just log on to the stalls um, website, you can scroll down. So right now we're on our patterns page. We want to scroll down all the way until we get uh, this box, this blue block box, and where it says helpful links, you can go to stalls events. So that's where you will click in order to find all of the upcoming events that we'll be at. So you can see all the upcoming trade shows that we'll be attending so that you guys can visit by the booth. Uh, but the first one is where you can find the stalls education classes. So if I click on that, it'll let us know what day that we are doing and what class will actually be there. So if I want to register for that, I'll go to the education classes page and it will tell me what, where all of the sessions are taking place, how much is going to be, and all of the uh, information that they're going to be sharing in each class. So you can register on this page. It's with the workshop Wednesdays with stalls. Choose your location, choose the class you want to attend, and then you can put how many people uh, that you want to uh, go with you to this. Okay. 
All right, so that pretty much sums up everything uh, that we wanted to cover before we dived into our discussion. So we'll go ahead and get started um, with the apparel trends that we're seeing first in the corporate setting. Mm -hmm. So Sanmar did a great job on sharing a lot of information with us on what they're seeing that's new for the corporate setting. And typically we see a lot of polos and button ups, but we're really uh, rebuilding that and making it an athleisure focus because whenever we walk into offices, we see now that they're more relaxed. It's just a new setting. So that means that the apparel is gonna be more relaxed now too. So. With that being said, the perfect one to uh, display would be the new and improved blazer. So before, you would mentioned earlier that blazers were made out of a... Sometimes wool, tweed, they're a little heavier type of fabric, kind of like your dad's jacket. Right, right. So they're a lot heavier. They weren't very easy to move in, not something you really wanted to sit in all day. So they recreated this and made it a cotton blazer so that it's very easy to move in, it's comfortable to sit in all day. So you can just see that they've completely remade that. It looks just like a blazer, so mm -hmm. you're looking professional, but you feel more comfortable throughout the day. Mm -hmm. All of these seem to fall into the category of like smart casual. People right. are relaxing that a little bit more, so casual is, 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 the, uh, is the new business. Right, and then also being able to uh, layer fabric. So this is one that is very thin and lightweight. So this is gonna be something that you could easily throw over top of a long, sweet, a, a long sleeve button up if you need to, and it'd still be comfortable and easy to move in. And you can see that done nicely with this set here. So this is a new brand that Sanmar has added into their line called New Era. And this is um, where we're seeing a lot of their athleisure type corporate apparel come from whenever mm -hmm. they talk about this new trend in the corporate setting. So New Era is doing a great job with this. They're still keeping the decorator in mind, so they make it very easy for them to either embroider on or heat print on or even screen print. So uh, decoration is still going to be fairly easy even with these new fabric types and um, new apparel. So. Uh, with this jacket, we also have a nice flowy shirt. So this is something that we're seeing very popular in uh, this marketplace too. So we're taking that basic cotton t-shirt and upscaling it by using uh, rayon in fabrics for tri blend so that it's nice and flowy and comfortable to wear. Okay, so that covers uh, corporate wear uh, mostly. So just being able to go on Sanmar's uh, website and really see everything that they've added, and I can actually show you uh, their homepage here where they have um, all of the new type of uh, apparel right displayed here. So you can click on that and it'll actually even show you if you have a walk-in shop how nice it is to, uh, how easily it is to display these so that when your customers walk in and they want to see what new you're offering, um, a new way to display that so that it really pops out at them is something that they want to start adding for sure. uh, who their uh, clients and whatnot. All right, so that takes us into lifestyle apparel. So we're actually kind of seeing the corporate apparel and the li lifestyle apparel kind of mix. So whenever mm. we were going through the garments, we noticed that they're really going hand in hand. So whenever I say lifestyle apparel, it means doing your day-to-day -day activities from going to the grocery store to going to the gym or your yoga class and being able to just wear one outfit to do all of that in so you're not constantly changing or anything like that. Minimize the wardrobe changes. Exactly. So um, this has actually skyrocketed and I think that's why it's been brought into the corporate apparel because it's uh, being seen a lot online um, and there's a huge movement where it's all about health and fitness and being able to do all this stuff. So whenever we're adding that into our day to day, we need apparel that's going to make it easy for us to add it in. And you still got to be comfortable no matter what you're right. doing. Nobody wants to you know, be uncomfortable with their daily activities. Exactly. So uh, that apparel is trending now and it, uh, Sanmar is just doing a phenomenal job by incorporating all of this. So this is something that I would easily be able to uh, throw over a flowy top for work and be able to wear all day. And then if I need to just change the shirt underneath, I can still wear this to the gym. It's something that um, 
is still very trendy because we're taking that basic jacket and incorporating a cow neck or scuba neck that you're seeing here. So this can zip all the way up and you can see the seam line there for the neckline where that is still incorporating that very trendy feature. Another uh, trendy thing that we're seeing a lot, not only through Samar, but also a lot in retail stores is uh, being able to um, make it fit for, say, uh, women's apparel versus men's apparel. Right. So it has a nice seam line that goes in, so this would be great for a nice women's jacket, but then they also offer a men's version as well. So not only does that fit your lifestyle uh, everyday wear, but we mentioned earlier um, whenever we were discussing that um, there's a type of new uniforming that they're doing in the corporate setting. So as these things are being kind of hybrid together, mm -hmm. uh, they're um, offering a variety of different styles so that it's fitting a collection of individuals. So not everybody has to wear the same exact uniform while they're still looking uniform, wearing the same colors and all of that stuff. Gives they're able to have a variety to choose It gives from. them a chance to express themselves but right. still look like part of the team. Exactly. All right, so that brings us uh, to some of the new types of apparel that we're seeing, um, or not new types of apparel really, because we're seeing the same across, but the new types of colors that mm -hmm. we're seeing. So they're more pastel, nothing too bright or anything, still very minimalistic, but being able to add a pop of color just does uh, wonders for a lot of people that like to be fashion forward. And this is a color that Sanmar is now calling Millennial Pink. And we'll see this moving into um, some of the uh, retail inspired things as well. So this is a very popular color, especially for the upcoming season. Spring is all about pastels and being able to incorporate bright colors into your offering. So this is one that we are seeing trend very well. Now that's one that is trending. Um, and then of course, the rose pink is still very popular as well. So we noticed that these popular colors are trending because it's something that we have to incorporate into our heat transfer exactly. vinyl and those type of offerings. So being able to pair it with these uh, types of fabrics that are easy to print and still very trendy and lightweight and your customers want to wear them, being able to just push that together makes it for a great upsell to your customers. And it's important to really be on top of the trends and right. go through your retail stores and look and see what's happening there because that's what your customers want to buy. It's not, you know, not just from the catalog. They want to see what's hanging in, in the retail shops need to be able to offer that as well. Absolutely. All right, so um, as we're getting into uh, that type of thing, before we get into uh, how you can reach all the sports clubs and school clubs and all of that, I want to just uh, take a look at some outerwear. So this is a new piece uh, that a lot of our customers really liked whenever we were sharing this in the morning show um, a few weeks back. But this is an outerwear jacket that has a nice soft shell to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you had said that it has a... It's um, like a waffle knit type of lining in there. Right. So it still stays very warm. So just because this is lightweight doesn't mean that it's not going to be great for no, outerwear. It's definitely going to be a windbreaker type of fabric. It's very, very uh, densely knit. So it's going to break that wind, but still not be heavy and bulky on you. Absolutely. And as you can see, this is a women's jacket because they did take that seam in so that it fits and has a slimmer uh, fit feel for the uh, ladies apparel. All right. So we did cover a lot just in that little bit of time. All right. So that brings us into our groups and sports. So there are two, uh, two or three that do this very well. Uh, when it comes to where to manufacture the apparel, and that's pennant sportswear, mm -hmm. BAW athletic wear, and what one am I missing here? J America. J America. All right, so J America does a really good job in um, hitting those spirit wear markets. So this is one that we consistently show because it continues to grow in popularity. This isn't going anywhere. It's a glitter knit fabric, so it has that shine to it and it's still comfortable to wear. It's not itchy inside like some fabrics would be if they have that glitter knit throughout it. And it's very easy to decorate. So it hits those markets uh, where a lot of uh, school clubs for spirit wear are asking for that type of finish and then also your cheerleaders and dancers or you can never go wrong by incorporating glitter for then them. Em yeah, embe embellishing with the glitter flake on top of that just magnifies that glitter right. even more. So it really they, they play off each other nicely. Absolutely. 
All right, so even off of that, um, Pennant Sportswear is doing a good job by incorporating glitter into uh, their apparel. So this is piping uh, on the sleeve that gives that kind of vintage jersey look. Well, what they did here was create it into a hoodie style so that it does have a hood. But again, just like the other apparel, this is still thin and lightweight. This is a cotton poly blend very easy to decorate and being able to add this as a little embellishment there mm -hmm. and being able to pair glitter flake with this just really upscales that. All right, so not only are glitter finishes very popular, uh, but Pennant also incorporated the uh, velvet fabric. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we're seeing a lot in retail, whether it is Victoria's Secret and American Eagle, or even Forever 21, we're seeing a lot of this type of material being added into their offering. So being able to add that to a sporty look mm -hmm. is a really cool thing. So I think they did a really good job by incorporating that. It's a kind of a retro look too. That goes back mm -hmm. way back, like before me even, that before electricity. <laughs> but that's it's it's current right now. All right, yeah. So that's a good point. We're seeing a lot of retro style. Um, things being incorporated into apparel that we're offering now. Okay, so we have covered J America and Pennant Sportswear with the glitter and uh, velvet special effect type of fabrics. And that takes us into uh, some more by J America and that is piping. So we saw the piping on the sleeve, but being able to add piping to the zipper or even um, making the thread where the seams were sewn together a different color just adds more color to this. So this is a half zip hoodie. So I think that this is really unique and it has a nice high low finish there um, at the bottom. And this is something that I think is just going to do very well uh, for the upcoming season, especially since they offer this in a variety of different yeah, colors. Seen, yeah, seeing a lot of contrast colors, like you say, in the stitching and in the piping, mm -hmm. that just kind of stands out while this is very, very basic charcoal, but this really, really screams at you. Yeah, and they even added that um, cow neck or scuba neck that mm -hmm. we're seeing across all of the different markets being incorporated. And this is just another option similar to what we saw there. Now this is a different style. It's a quarter zip with a uh, pocket there, but still that same concept using contrast colors. But I like the Heather uh, electric type of fabric that they decided to use for this because it gives the uh, garment a little more dimension and then of course being able to uh, pair a heat transfer vinyl that matches that contrast mm -hmm. color would it, go great with that. Heather's still remain very, very popular. I'm seeing that yeah, day in, day out. Yeah, and across all of these garments, we're seeing a lot of the seams come inward. So that just adds a little more dimension to the garments and I think customers really like it's that. It's a little more slimming looking too. Mm -hmm. Draws the lines in instead of out. Right. All right, so uh, with that electric Heather, we just have electric styled uh, garments that are very popular. Uh, these this is actually was shown last year so this is just continues to grow in popularity this is also by j america so this is a uh, pink electric style uh, high low um, sweater and it is an athletic type of um, fabric so it's all polyester and uh, so it fits all of those um, sport and type of groups definitely makes a statement yes all right so with that, we are on to my favorite at this point. So I just love the color blocking that they did here. So they have a red body here and the inside of the hood is red, but they kept that electric heather throughout the rest of the hoodie too. Right, and that makes it easy for that vintage type jersey look. Mm -hmm. So they did the high seam, they did the cow neck and scuba neck again. Uh, so that just adds a lot to that garment piece as well. So uh, just a couple of decorating tips for this whenever you're working with that high seam. How would you load this onto the platen? Well, you definitely want to make sure that you take this seam because it is very, very thick here. It's got two or three layers of fabric there. You make sure that is off the press. You make sure you've got the right size platen so you're, so you're able to get your design in there without putting this on, onto the actual press itself. That just creates a, a problem as far as pressure goes for sure. 
Right. So that's one thing to keep in mind because that vintage uh, jersey style seam that we're seeing a lot in apparel, um, you're going to have that no matter who you're decorating for because it's such a popular look and you it's so easy to source at this point because everybody's starting to offer it. Um, but just knowing exactly how to put that on the platen so that you can easily print that without that seam getting in the way. It does help keep it straight though, I'll give them that. It does, <laughs> yes. All right, so to add to that, um, there are a lot of styles, and I'm going to look off of sure. your script to, or your outline here. So one that is very popular is um, the color blocking, which we just saw in the hoodie, but being able to incorporate um, racerback type styles throughout tank tops that we're offering to um, those markets that are doing the day-to-day -day activities and want one garment to fit across. So this is a racer back and you can see how unique the, the straps are on this. So we have a mesh top. So we're pairing two different types of fabric styles here. We have the polyester mesh on the top of this where we have the polyester body. Uh, but this just adds a unique dimension into this and being able to print this is just as easy as you would any other tank top. Uh, but just having that unique style uh, to offer to your customers that is very retail inspired. Absolutely. Um, and not only with that, we have another one. Okay, so that was sourced from Boxer Craft, and this is also sourced from Boxer Craft. And this is their MIDI tank. So this is one that is very popular throughout retail. These are two styles that we're actually showing a lot in our educational seminar so that people can see these unique garments and how easy they are to press. So this has an all mesh back, which makes this very breathable and something that your customers look for a lot in their everyday wear. And this is a, another type of mesh style paired with a uh, solid body as well. So we have the mesh at the top and the mesh in the back and then our solid body. And you can see that they added it uh, at the bottom as well. So this is sourced from Pennant Sportswear. These are three that I think are going to fit all of those clubs and sports phenomenally. And it doesn't just fit them. It fits our uh, athleisure markets that we're trying to reach as well. Gotcha. All right, another one um, that is doing these fabrics very well is Clavio. So Clavio uh, does our very trendy retail inspired garments where they're adding the fringe, they're using the bright colors. So this is a mint color and this is something we've added, even added into our heat transfer vinyls because very, very it's color. such a popular color. And they just do, a, uh, do so well with uh, adding um, not only for women's, but also for children's and even infants. So this is a girl's children's hoodie. So being able to keep it lightweight and still very um, breathable and movable for children even goes a long way. They can't be itchy. Kids just won't right. take itchy. Right. All right, and uh, one more item that I wanted to show before we move on to accessories is the um, rayon. Well, this is a 95% rayon and 5% um, cotton, and this is from J America. So you can just see how bouncy and flowy this garment is, and that is what is popular. I mean, that's what you're seeing in all your retail stores, something that's thin and lightweight like that. So that is their Oasis T and uh, just some tips for application with those yeah, types of fabrics. Yeah, anytime you get that much rayon, you're going to be very careful to make sure that you use some, uh, uh, a material that goes at a very, very low temperature. Right. So it's important to know that, that these do have potential to scorch as you get the more rayon, the more polyester that's in the fabric, especially rayon with the tri-blends. You want to make sure you use a very low temp application, which we, we can suit, help you out with for sure. Absolutely. All right. So that brings us into accessories. And uh, Wholesale Boutique is doing a variety of different accessories that are easy to press and embroider. So this is their um, vegan leather purse. And they have done this in a variety of different pastel colors. So this is going to be huge for upcoming holidays such as Easter so that we can monogram these and give them as gifts and also just start incorporating into our offerings for spring overall. So not only are they doing a lot of um, 
pastel colors, but they're also doing patterns. So patterns are very popular and they are adding a uh, metallic type finish with this as well. So not only are you seeing this on the straps, but on the bottom as well. And Bob here shortly will be printing an accessory like this. So you can see how easy it is to print accessories for our Make It Monday. So they're doing uh, little um, satchels and pouches as well. And this is one that just kind of has, so this isn't actually a print here. This is actually punched through the vegan leather that you're seeing here. This color has been doing very well for them which is their blush pink. Ex explain vegan leather to me. Vegan leather is just another name for faux leather. Ah. Uh, so they're just, it's the same as you would any other type of leather, just making sure it's not melting at the press and that type of thing. All right, so they're offering a variety of different styles of koozies. And my favorite are the Easter bags that they're doing. Right, so they're doing a lot of patterns and this is all um, sublimated so we want to be careful when we're choosing the type of heat transfer vinyl that we're putting on here. But these are a great opportunity for people that are doing a lot of Easter gifts, being able mm -hmm. to monogram these and put children's names on them and that sort of thing. All right, that was a lot. That was a lot. You did such a great job. <laughs> All right, so Bob is going to go ahead and print an accessory for us for Make It Monday. So we'll go ahead and head to the press for that. So here we are at the press. This is, we're using, the, as usual, the Hotronics Fusion, a best-selling press that we have uh, in the country and in the world. And it just got smarter, but you've, you've heard about that. And you'll hear more as, as, the, as the days and weeks go on. Today, we're going to be, just like Jenna mentioned, we're going to be doing an, one, another accessory. Accessory is really important. Nice add-on sales, um, to just not just apparel. It's giving you all the other uh, add-on sales that you can add by adding accessories. This one complements that larger bag, has the same pattern, as also has that same gold um, uh, base on there. So what we've done, we've matched up the gold base with a gold glitter flake monogram. Monograms are not going away. They're flooding all over the country. Started in the in the south and just still lives there, but they'll be they'll be making it your way if they're not there already. So today we're taking advantage of the um, four by four platen. Don't always get a chance to use that. But this seems works perfect for this. We've got about a three inch design. It's important that you that you size your image to be um, just a little bit smaller than the platen that you have. So I know this fits on here because I already tried it, but we're gonna give it a, a slide on. And we're gonna make sure that we get away from this seam and I can feel where that rubber pad starts and stops. So I just pull this down off of there a little bit. Still gives me a full area to print on. And we'll make sure that it is centered as possible. And before we press, we always pre-press Moisture and wrinkles aren't such a big deal with this because it's not going to be laundered or anything like that, but mostly I just want to make sure that I have the right pressure. So when I lock this down, my live pressure readout gives me the indication I'm good to go. My, my six pressure is exactly what we're looking for. Add our design. We'll go ahead and cover again because you never know who pressed what on your heat press and you don't want to ruin a nice accessory like this cosmetic bag. And we'll lock it down for the full 10 seconds at 300 degrees. Glitter Flake is a hot peel. And just that easy, you've got a completed decorated cosmetic bag. And that's it for Make It Monday. Awesome Make It Monday. Oh, thanks. You can never go wrong with that in Glitter Flake. Never. <laughs> All right, so before we go ahead and wrap everything up, I'm just going to scroll through some comments here to make sure that we are answering all the questions. I know Ken had commented in um, asking about the workshops at the um, showroom locations, mm -hmm. whether or not those will be recorded. So we will not be recording those. Those are exclusive uh, to whoever um, goes to those. 
I will say, however, uh, those are some topics that we do cover a lot in mm -hmm. um, our seminars that right. we do at trade shows. So it's really for people who can't make it out to the trade show but can make it to their uh, local showroom and be able to see the professionals do things in action and be able to do hands-on with them. So we definitely recommend signing up for those so that you guys can take advantage of all of that information there. All right, so uh, Linda asked, who makes the glitter shirt that you showed? So uh, that is J America. So they do very well about um, offering a variety of different glitter fabrics. So they do the hoodies and the t-shirts and the long sleeve tees. So I highly recommend going on their website and checking out all the offerings they have for the glitter knit fabrics. All right, so it looks like we just answered a variety of all the questions there. Uh, the cosmetic bag fr is from Wholesale Boutique. It is a Viv and Lou brand, so that's where you can find the cosmetic bag. Again, that's Wholesale Boutique. All right, and uh, embroidering glitter. So we will definitely follow up with you on that for some how-to videos. Um, it is a process called rip away applique, which we talk a lot about in seminars and live classes and stuff. So it's definitely something people are doing a lot of, and we have a lot of videos on showing you how to do that. So we will definitely follow up with you after the morning show. And that sums everything up. So thank you guys so much for joining us um, in a couple weeks, or actually in two, no. Next week, February 15th, I will actually be showing you uh, print trends on how you can uh, print all of these different types of fabrics so that you are successful at the heat press and being able to offer these to your customers. So if you want to join us back on February 15th, I'll be showing you how to do that. And then we'll be back again, uh, just kind of doing an overview of all the trends from apparel and uh, types of finishes that are going to be very popular for 2018. And that will be um, February 19th. So the 15th and the 19th, we'll be doing a lot more on 2018 spring trends. So be sure to join us back there. And thanks again for joining.